Richard. And? Feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your... your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cyber sex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. And not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. I could always just give you some money. Are you serious? Of course. I'll wire you some over. I don't know what to say. James, just tell me what else I can do. You could come over right away. Oh, I understand. Then I guess I'll have to do that. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best anymore. Tracy is... bitter for ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar? It was so terrible. Since she got the scar, though, she's totally changed on the inside. She got bitter, hardened. It's been like this for years. The accident was years ago. Shouldn't she be getting over it by now? Absolutely. I completely agree. And that's why, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I know. But, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to, anytime. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? I'm sorry, I have to go, darling. on time. Richard, come in. So, yes, there you are. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> hmm. Wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah, that's Dyke. Be careful around him, he sells information. You know, the cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy, that she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> if you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here uh, nonsense of course I want to be here fine just one more thing you have to call home right I have to my kid I would have done it out on the street but that dyke it's okay I understand I'd also want you to call me should I do it outside you can stay here I'll go to the bathroom Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. 
No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Yeah. Were you listening? At the volume you were talking at? I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father. <laughs> well... This got off to a great start. Come on, let's open a bottle. I... want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. I know how it sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around that time, was so horrible. The accident, Tracy's scar, and I don't know. I never really connected with James. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son, as if she just inserted him into my life. Excuse me? That really does sound awful. Does James know? God, no. But maybe he senses it. 